cinnamon beds, cinnamon sticks. everyone so today is a busy day in the studio um, I was working on some Halloween stuff which I'll show you guys what I've gotten so far and also I have a meeting in about less around 30 minutes with candle science uh, if I can't say this if it's left in the vlog that means it's okay for me to say but candle science reached out to me um, last week or so about working with me on some projects or something I don't have much detail yet I think that's what we're going to talk about today so um, they want to work with me which is amazing and I've been using them since the beginning of my business so I'm really excited to see what they have planned out but there's going to be a few people in the meeting and decided to get ready for that so I'm working on a Halloween box and this is what I've gotten so far but I don't like it um, so I went and I purchased some graphics com for commercial use and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these into my Cricut machine, not my Cricut, I'm going to bring these into, um, my iPad and see what I can do to make this more what I'm envisioning in my head. I have something really big planned for Halloween and, um, yeah, so I really want to make everything really nice. So this is going to be for a Halloween box that I'm coming out with. Also, I have to film some stuff for Kenneth. Um, he's going to start working on email marketing because I'm really bad about sending emails and I'm going to show him around um, like ConvertKit which is my email platform and kind of show him how it all works so I got to film that for him too today and then I've got some more I just got some stuff in so you guys might have seen earlier I got some embeds in and then um, fragrance should be coming by the end of the day so I can finish up my wholesale orders and then We'll see how long this meeting runs with Candle Science to see if I can pack some orders that are going out today. So it's going to be really busy. My son is taking his nap now. <laughs> I'm going to start getting maybe my camera ready for the Candle Science meeting and I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Hey everyone, so I just got off of a meeting with Candle Science. It went well. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about exactly what's going on yet because nothing is super duper finalized so I'll just leave it at that um, but for now we are going to package a few orders another thing that I did um, was let me get I think this order wants cinnamon bun strawberry shortcake on this order and cinnamon bun which I already have batched and ready Alright you guys, so this wholesale order is going out today and quick chat about wholesale. So I've get, been getting a lot more wholesale requests. So if you are interested in purchasing wholesale, a few things are I do require um, like your um, sales tax license. So be ready to just, you know, send over sales tax license. That's pretty standard when you are applying for wholesale. 
um that's the ooh the glitz and the glam also for wholesale so your sales tax license and then uh, minimum order quantities are if you're a new person 12 if you are a returning customer so if you've already purchased 12 and you want to order more then you would purchase eight all right so my cricut machine is going so you're going to hear that thing cutting now so sorry about that um, another thing about wholesale, so these candles, a lot of people ask if they're able to put their own labels on the candles, which is called private labeling or white label. Um, I don't have that option yet for my decorative candles, only because if we were all to sell these candles, they have a distinct look. So let's say I'm selling winding wick candles and then... Um, I know candle company A is going to sell their candles and put a different label and another candle company is going to uh, sell the same and put a different label. It's going to be very confusing on the market, you know, if we're all online posting the same thing. Sorry, my Cricut cutter is so loud I can't even think through straight, but trying to get back to the question at hand. So with private labeling, people are able to, I guess, create their own price. So... You know, someone puts their own label on this and then charges $15, um, you know, that's going to create some weird competition there, which I'm not saying people have tried that um, with with wholesale requests, uh, but it's something you got to be hip to. So I don't private label these candles, but in the future I do um, plan on coming out with a line where you can private label them and it'll probably just be plain white candles with no decoration um, with my same candle formula so you'll have like a strong candle formula you don't have to worry about all the testing and all of that and and then you'll be able to put your own sticker on it and charge whatever you want for it so that is my option for people who want private labeling but for right now you will you would have to sell my candles with my um, label on it if you're doing the decorative candles all right you guys so my camera died but i had to keep it moving but this is the wholesale order packed and ready to go so this customer ordered 13 candles this is all ready and packed to go so i'm going to put the other last little elements in here which is the little wholesale page that i put in here and then a little sampler um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pack this up i don't have time i have another wholesale order and um, some other orders but those are actually still uh i'll ship those off tomorrow so all right off to the post office okay you guys i'm just gonna hold the camera i don't have time for my tripod but one thing i wanted to add on also to shipping is that um, a lot of you aren't going to be doing custom boxes right from the beginning because my boxes are two dollars a box which to me that's expensive um, but i had to buy a thousand of them like in the last video for them to be two dollars otherwise they're like four dollars a box and that's very expensive so if you want to save on shipping think about the prices of your boxes and i know a lot of people tend to go to uline for shipping first so you're probably buying like i was buying something like this but in a smaller size the six by four by three so it'd be 71 cents per box for 100 boxes if i buy the same box on ebay let me look at my history because i used to buy from uline and then i kind of started looking at different options so it's 36 dollars for 100 boxes you guys and divided by 100 that is you know 36 cents per box so 71 cents minus 36 cents so you're saving 35 cents per box let's times that by 100 so that's $35 you're saving. I don't know why I had to use a calculator for that. It was literally, I didn't have to use a calculator. Anyway, so that's $35 per 100 boxes that you are saving. So let's just say you had 1,000 boxes. Let's times that by 10. That's $350 that you are saving um, per 1,000 boxes just by switching providers you're getting the exact same box you guys so pennies can add up in business but i will leave the link down below where you can get the ebay box so hope that helps you out
for tuning into this podcast. It's currently midnight and I'm editing and I realized I did not film an outro. So here is that and I'm super excited to see what Candle Science has in store. Um, this is so cool you guys. I'm just like really stoked about that and I am going to be very busy working on what I have in store for Halloween. It's very insane. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off but oh we shall see um anyways until then you guys can also stay entertained with the podcast small biz and coffee episode four should be coming out soon so i'll leave um the link to the podcast down below if you're interested but until next time bye guys